Isuzu Ute Australia has been running four-wheel drive tag-along tours for its D-Max Ute and MUX wagon buyers for several years now, with many memorable ventures to places like New South Wales Blue Mountains and South Australia's Air Peninsula, not to mention Tasmania's spectacular west coast. This time around we're in Victoria's magnificent high country, where over the next three days we'll be tackling some of the most challenging and picturesque off-road tracks in the country. So let's get into it. Our Isuzu adventure trip kicks off in bright, heading out along the Great Alpine Road to tackle some scenic and often heart-stopping trails around Mount Hotham, including stop-offs at local attractions before weaving our way across the mountains to Mansfield. The famous Blue Range track is on the bucket list of many off-road adventures with plenty of heart racing sections before you finally reach the top. And they reckon the views are worth it, so let's hop in and find out. Our Isuzu convoy lucks out with a cracker day for a crawl up the stunning Blue Rag Range track. And after arriving at the Dargo High Plains Road turnoff, the dry, grippy surface makes it slow but relatively easy going for most of the pack over the eight or so winding kilometres to the peak with just a few tricky sections to navigate as the vehicle's electronic terrain management systems and diff locks get a workout. There are breathtaking views along the roller coaster ridgeline to enjoy before a final uphill blast to the Blue Rag Trick Point, where jaw dropping 360 degree views of Victoria's high country await. A quick snack and a sticker to mark the occasion before checking over the maps and hopping back in the saddle to the next eye venture. It's not all low range crawling though, with more relaxed cruising through thick alpine forest along the Goldie Spur track that follows the power lines to Mount Buffalo while hugging the hillsides and trying to avoid dust from the vehicle in front. Then it's time to lower the tyre pressures again and drop back into low range before heading back up into the mountains for another off-road challenge along the McDonald Spur track on the way to Mansfield. No one gets bogged, but it's a close call during this one slushy section which requires some spirited driving as well as some expert tips over the two-way radio to get through, with some enjoying the muddy play more than others. A river crossing not long after helps clean off the cake mud, although it's clear some drivers make more of a splash than others. There's another tricky rocky slope into a river crossing that really tests out the clearance and crawling ability of the vehicles, not to mention driver patience. There are no vehicle busting encounters with wildlife, apart from these track hogging bovines enjoying the breakout of autumn leaves. So if you are relatively new to four wheel driving, then a trip like this is great for helping you learn some of the features of your Isuzu 4x4 vehicle with instructors on hand to help you get you through some of the trickier sections as well as help keep you out of trouble when you do inevitably get stuck. You also get to see some great locations and also perhaps make a new friend or two along the way. Another stop off is at Lanky Plain Hut for some selfies and a glimpse of what life might have been like for some of the early settlers. So one of the other big attractions in Victoria's high country are the historic settler huts that are dotted throughout the region. And here we are at one of the more popular spots, Bindaroo Hut, which isn't far from Mount Stirling and Mount Buller. Our stop off at Bindaroo Flat also includes some river fishing and gold panning, as well as the obligatory group drone shot. Then there's a short walk into the picturesque Bindaroo Falls, where a refreshing outside shower is on the cards in warmer weather, before our final big four-wheel drive test up the twisting and turning monument track to Craig's Hut. Our steep low range climb evokes scenes out of the Gorillas in the Mist movie, with driving lights on and limited visibility as we scramble and zigzag our way up, before arriving and finally getting a glimpse of the timber hut that was originally built for the Man from Snow River movie and the Mount Sterling surrounds shrouded in fog. Caked in dust and mud and boasting a few high country scars, it's back to our trusty Hisuzu pack horses for their return to regular civilian life on the bitumen. So there you have it, some of the best off-road tracks in Australia, fantastic scenery and all pretty easily accessible from Melbourne. So if you own an Isuzu 4x4 or something similar, 
What are you waiting for? 